Hey there, and welcome to a new video about regular expressions in Python on the Future Programmer YouTube channel. With regular expressions, repetition modifiers, also known as quantifiers, have two modes, greedy and non-greedy. This lesson will teach you the differences between them, when to use each, as well as their syntaxes. So let's import the RE module and begin. Let's start off by talking about greedy matching. The greedy mode is the default behavior of regular expressions and the mode that we have been using in the previous lessons of this course. Greedy quantifiers are called greedy because they attempt to match as much text as possible given an entire regular expression pattern. HTML code is the classic example to demonstrate this behavior. So even if you don't understand the HTML code here, Let's just take a look at this string as a piece of text. So we can see there are three parts to this. We have the title, which start off with a left angle bracket and end with a right angle bracket. And then we have the word regex, followed by another tag, which starts off with a left angle bracket and ends with a right angle bracket. The pattern that we're using is going to be this one right here. It starts off with a left angle bracket and end with a right angle bracket. In between, we have the dot character, which is going to match any character that is not a new line character. And then we have the repetition modifier, the quantifier asterisk. If you just look at this code right here, you may expect or at least hope that the matching is going to result in this part of the string and this part of the string printed out because we're using find all. However, you'll see that we're actually going to get just one string, which is actually the entirety of my string right here. And the reason for that is the default behavior of the asterisk is greedy. So this character is going to match as many characters as possible given the entire string and the entire pattern. What that means is the matching is technically correct. The match does match the given pattern. So we can see there is a left angle bracket as matched right here. We have some things that do not contain a new line character. So we can see that matches this part of the pattern. And then we have a right angle bracket right here. However, because we're using greedy mode, it's matching the entire thing. So we're matching this entire part of the string as dot asterisk. So what if we wanted to end right here? We don't want to match these things. Uh, for the first part of the string. Well, that is where non-greedy matching comes in. Unlike greedy matching, non-greedy matching, also known as lazy matching, wants to match as few characters as possible. The syntax for non-greedy quantifiers is quite simple. We just add a question mark after the default greedy repetition modifier. So on the left-hand side of the table right here, we have the greedy quantifiers that we have been using so far. And on the right hand side, we can just see we have asterisk question mark plus question mark, question mark, question mark, etc. And these are the non greedy quantifiers. We can see in this code block, everything is the exact same as we just saw in the other code block with one difference. So this is the only difference in the entire code, which is a question mark added after the asterisk. And just with this one simple change, we can see our find all method is going to return a list of two elements title, so that is the first part of the string right here, and the other title, which is this part of the string right here. So this time, because we're using the non greedy version of the quantifier, the repetition is going to be limited to as few characters as possible, as long as the matching is valid for the pattern that's given. Just to illustrate the difference between greedy and non-greedy matching further, let's take a look at another example. So here we have a quite oddly looking pattern. So we can see it starts off with a colon and ends with another colon. Inside, we have a dot and a plus, which is a repetition modifier. And this one is actually greedy. So what that means is when we match this pattern against this text right here, we're going to get once again the entire string because, well, it starts with a colon and ends with a colon. And dot plus is going to match everything in between. That's correct. 
but not likely what we want. So we can see the result right here. We can probably get what we want using non-greedy matching, which can be arranged by adding a question mark after the red repetition modifier plus. So this time we'll see our output contains two elements. The first of which is this one right here. And the second of which is this column one, two, three column right here. This time, because we're using the non-greedy version of the quantifier, Python knows to match as few characters as is possible given the pattern. To summarize, while perhaps not present in every program, the differences between greedy and non-greedy matching can introduce some tricky bugs to our code if we're not too careful. Now you know how to debug this issue in Python programs involving regular expressions.